all black and tactical with a proven pedigree out on the ranges of the world. This week is the RTI Profit 2. and welcome to AAR On Air. This week, just think efficiency. Take away any thoughts of beautifully crafted and shaped coloured laminate finishes. Forget traditional rifle stocks and shapes. Think more engineering excellence and a stealth design. A purpose-made tool for the job indeed. And in compact form, the RTI Profit 2 Compact. This is a tool that you can use in tight spaces like barns and the like, but with a power level that will blow your mind and is capable of reaching out to some long distances. If you haven't already guessed by now, this is the FAC version in 2.2 calibre and is capable of around 45 foot pounds. Now, some of you will say that's not particularly high in power for a 2.2 FAC rifle, but this is a compact version, not some ultra long length barrel version needed to keep the pellet in the barrel long enough to create the power. This overall length is only 650 millimeters or 26 and three quarter inches. And that's the total gun length, not just the barrel. Whilst we're talking stats, the weight unscoped <laughs> is only 2.8 kilograms or six pounds, three ounces. Considering this is an upgraded chassis and all-metal construction, I think that's pretty impressive. Let's start with a walk around, shall we? From the front, the first thing is the half-inch UNF standard thread, which is removable to add a silencer of your choice. Now, at this point, it's worth reminding ourselves this is a full-power FAC version and will need some form of sound suppression because it is pretty loud without any. Here is where the opinions start opening up. You see, I remember seeing a shop owner on a certain YouTube channel recently stating that you only ever need one silencer, a Virox standard version. Well, not necessarily that accurate. I tried the Virac on this RTI, and yes, it does make quite a difference to the rapport, or bark as I call it. But I then tried the QGS 8, which to my mind looks the part on this particular rifle. And it was indeed quieter than the Virac, but the QGS is heavier as well as cheaper and quieter, but it is, if it is, sorry, lightweight that you're looking for, then I could suggest you try the Carbon Hush from RTI. Which is so light, I thought the box that it came in was empty when I first picked it up. It hovers above the scales, almost 78 grams, which is around 30% less than the Viroc. It is about as quiet as the Viroc, but with a slightly deeper tone to it. So in conclusion, do you want quiet, lightweight, tonal preference? I think you get my drift. There isn't just one size fits all, but there are some wonderful options available to suit your gun and your pocket. Anyway, back to this RTI. Below the shrouded barrel is the compact and lightweight carbon bottle, which is capable of a 300 bar fill pressure and has a maximum capacity of 240 cc, which in this high power format is going to restrict your overall shot count. But there has to be a trade-off for this amazing compact size somewhere. Immediately behind this bottle is the business part. There are twin gauges. The first one is the fill pressure gauge. The filler snap foster fitting is directly below this. The next one along is the regulator pressure gauge and below this is the adjuster for the regulator. 
This is naturally preset on the non-FAC version to prevent you going over the sub 12 foot pound maximum UK power level. Directly below this is a Picatinny rail for mounting whatever takes your fancy really. There is an Arca Swiss rail available, but this will require twisting the regulator assembly slightly to allow access to fill the rifle with air. This is quite acceptable, and if in doubt, get the shop to do this for you. The Arca Swiss rail is really, though, best suited to the longer version of the rifle, not so much the compact. There is the top rail, of course, which is also Picatinny and is 190mm long and 20mAO for longer range shooting. The trigger on this is naturally two-stage and adjustable, down as low as 200 gram pull weight, which would be a little too light for my liking. The grip is standard AR-15 and is rubberized for sure grip. The chassis rail then flows back to the butt area. This is really quite trick, and it's this that sets this Profit 2 apart from the original Profit. It houses the assisted valve, which uses air from the barrel to close faster and opens from zero to full in a mind-blowing one millisecond. With this mated up to the 70cc plenum, it makes this even more efficient. There is also an optional extra of a bag rider, which can be fitted to the bottom of the butt, giving you the chance to rest onto rear bags. Ideal for those bench resting moments that won RTI the 2019 championship. The magazine is also hugely flexible as it can be slotted in and rolled from the left side, right side, whichever side fits you best. Making this truly ambidextrous. They are available in 177, 225 and 30 calibers and the magazines hold 14, 11, 10 and 7 rounds respectively. The 177 calibers are Lothar Walther barrels and the .30 is the same. The .22 and the .25, on the other hand, are RPB barrels, produced by RTI themselves, and have only a very light choke to them. Shot count from this .22 at this power level is around 10 rounds per 50 bar fill, which I think is pretty reasonable from such a small cylinder. This is a side lever action and is on the left hand side. This isn't interchangeable and some will prefer this because they don't need to take their hand from the trigger area to cock. The safety is also very easily to hand and is just behind the trigger. It can be operated with your thumb and finger without any problem. It's a simple and yet efficient mechanical locking of the trigger mechanism. There is the usual red fire indicator when it's pushed through from the right to the left. Let's just drop this over the chronograph and test it out for power with a couple of types of ammo, shall we? Firstly, using the heavier pellets at 18.13 grains, it saw 1,050 feet per second, which is 40.67 foot-pounds or 55.14 joules, which means these are likely to be getting close to going supersonic and could become unstable, so some heavier weights are going to be needed. On the 30 grain slugs from Wildman, not the cheapest, but high quality, with these on board, it saw a whopping 818 feet per second, which is 44.58 foot pounds or 60.45 joules, which in 22 caliber is surely enough stopping power for such a compact short rifle. If not, it is possible to get the longer barrel version up to around 90 joules in 2.2 and even 50 joules in 177. 
Let's get a scope fitted on this little black belt to show and see how it shoots out on the range. I think we need to be looking at about 50 metres to really put this one through its paces. Impressive, very impressive really. These are a little different to shoot because there is no warm wooden or polymer cheek rest. It is straight onto metal. Now I know quite a few guys who shoot these and they swear by them. They love them and I can see why. They are one of Carl's from Vector Air's all time favourites. The action is smooth, very short and crisp. These are engineered to a high level. This is of course the FAC version, but they're available in standard sub 12 foot pounds. And I'll be reviewing the longer 177 version of this later on. They are minimalistic, yet with all the trick bits you would want on board. And of course, above all, that accuracy. I make no bones that I am a more traditional style rifleman, but that becomes irrelevant when you handle something of this quality and ability. It's more than the right tool for the job. It does come with the high quality RTI hard case as always. If you've got your ticket and need a short powerful tool then I don't think you can go far wrong with this Profit 2. It will set you back around £1,595 UK for all this engineering excellent excellence which to me represents decent value for money but as always Deciding if it's high priced or not is entirely dependent on whether you have the money or not. So that's up to the individuals to decide. I do think it's a worthy competitor for some of the similar looking rifles out there and will probably outperform a lot of them. Hopefully you've enjoyed this look at the FAC version of this compact RTI. If you have, please give us the old thumbs up, subscribe, hit the old alarm bell and please feel free to share. Any chats can continue on this little lot. And don't forget the guys at Airgun Factory. There is the AAR website for snippets and merchandise. Feel free to leave comments in the comments section below. A big thank you to the guys, of course, as always, at Vector Air for getting hold of this for me to review. A nicely tuned call, by the way. Above all, the biggest thanks goes out to you guys for watching and hopefully getting what it is we're trying to achieve here on AAR. That's it. Stay safe and shoot safe. And hopefully, I'll see you all next week. Bye for now.